Welcome back. Uh, we're going to go play some StarCraft, picking up our campaign where we last left off. Which, no way. Did I really make it to Mission 10? Well, let me take a look. I don't remember ever beating Mission 9, but maybe if I look at Mission 9... All Zerg buildings must survive. Kerrigan must survive. Oh, that's right. Yeah, okay. I remember we did that. Alright. So, on to mission 10. The Hammer Falls. Captain Command Ship Hyperion over Tarsonis. The fleet has lost contact with the ground forces at New Gettysburg. General Minsk has ordered the immediate disengagement of the Core Hall fleet from the Tarsonian system. Protoss and Zerg forces continue to battle across the core continent of Tarsonis, receiving incoming transmission. I can't believe he actually left her down there. Yeah, me either. Gone, and you better come with me. There's no telling who our will screw over next. Receiving incoming transmission. <laughs> Gentlemen, you've done very well. But remember that we've still got a job to do. The seeds of a new empire have oh my. been sown. And if we hope uh, to, to reach hell with you, you're making a terrible mistake. Don't even think to cross me. I have sacrificed too much to let this fall apart. You mean like you sacrificed Kerrigan? You Ooh. that. You don't seem to realize my situation here. Yeah, what's this guy's deal? Not be stopped. Not by you or the Confederates or the Protoss or anyone. I will rule this sector or see it burn to ashes around me. If you try to get the fleet away, is prepped and ready, Commander. Awaiting orders. <laughs> We're gone. It appears that General Duke has successfully activated Tarsonis's primary defensive weapon, the Ion Cannon. The cannon must be shut down if any escape attempt is to be made. Okay, let me just try to recap or understand what happened there. Um, I do think it's very strange that we left Kerrigan behind with the transmitter. Um, what else? Uh, Arcturusk obviously wants to rule over that sector, though God knows why he'd want to get into politics. That seems not very interesting, but apparently he's into that sort of thing. Um, Jim and I are destroying the Ion Cannon, so... I don't know. I guess... I, I don't know why Arcturusk and Duke um, equip the Ion Cannon and all that, but we have to destroy it so that we can escape. Um, and presumably other people can escape. Uh, I, I don't get it. Like, why the betrayal, but okay. Rather, why Arcturus could betray us all, but whatever. Um, there's the turrets and science vessels reveal hidden units within their range. Just in case you forgot. Looks like we're on our own. It's funny. Seems like yesterday Arcturus was the idea Right. But also, like, what the hell is wrong with the dude? Why in the world would he want to get involved in politics? I don't get it. Um. Yeah, we don't need that many SCV. Yeah, maybe we do. How many minerals are there here? Not too many. Yeah, okay. We can. We don't need more SCVs. Um. There really aren't that many minerals down here to begin with. Let me start by building a refinery. So I can start to... Like, all my forces are pretty limited here. This game always instills in you a sense of urgency and has a timer on the mission itself to help you track how long it took you to defeat uh, the mission. That said... Um, I don't know. 
really, I don't think there's any urgency in defeating any particular mission. I do remember, I think last time I attempted this mission, I got destroyed. You got my attention. You got my attention, they all say. Alright. Y'all hold your position. Y'all hold your position. Something on your mind? Yeah, I'm super brave. Like, I've got the best micro of everybody here. Um... Alright, I thought there was something down here last time I tried this. I thought they, like, ripped my entire forces to shreds. How far up do I have to go to find them? Uh, also, I thought vulture- oh, I'm sorry, I don't have the speed upgrade for vultures. Okay. Here we go. Oh, I gave them the high ground. Yes. Alright. I guess I'm gonna do the cowardly thing and actually restart the mission. Um... So... Alright. Everyone knows clicking... Oh, okay. Yeah, we're trying this again. This time with a little bit less failure. But not much less failure. Alright, so... I have some idea of what lies ahead now. I also understand that I'm not about to be ambushed, which does somewhat comfort me. Uh, no... You guys, just keep doing your thing, okay? Okay. Oh, really? It still forces me to build the refinery. I can't just, like, right-click and say, go build it. <sighs> that would be modern gaming. That would do that sort of, um... Um... Micromanagement for you so you didn't have to micro. I'm too accustomed to modern gaming, I suppose. But yeah, this might be um, me defeating the game for the first time, so... Um, uh, I don't like how these... Okay, that's fine. You guys just hang out there. Battalion 2, move up. Oh, he finished his job. Well, you better be refining. Yeah, or, I'm sorry, you better be... Acquiring gas from the refinery. Whoa, 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 what? Really? Alright, well, I only lost one guy. Uh, let's see. Really? Can you guys, like, take any longer to aim? Please? Oh, they can't see up the thing. Okay, fine. It's only around this corner that they're actually able to see anything. How does that work? Alright. I see a ramp. I see a ramp. Alright, how can I best occupy a choke point here? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Is this guy gonna dance here forever? How long do these guys dance? Oh, he's dancing. Oh, okay. Wow, they actually fixed some of the movement. Alrighty. Um, oh, why don't I just, like, control one? Control two. And then I can do one and two to command yes. these guys. That's how this game works. We're on mission ten, guys. We're gonna beat this. Maybe. Probably not. But we'll try. Alright, so there's a ramp, which means, you know, there's gonna be something on the other side of the ramp. Uh, 
Alrighty. Now let's go away from... I know the ion cannon's in the upper left corner. Uh, I just happen to know that. Alright, so I'm going to not directly approach it, but instead just slaughter everything that lies anywhere along the path. And work my way up to the upper left corner in the slowest possible manner. Um, Alright, so we've cleared all this stuff. Alright, do we have team two? Team two, take the high ground. It's too bad they don't have medics in this game. That would make this mission just a slight bit easier to manage. Yeah, they're under attack because they like take forever to start attacking. Oh, because I'm an idiot. I didn't upgrade um, their attack range. Why don't I go do that? Why don't I go build something? We're doing all the micro here, guys. Now, if I remember right, Engineering Bay does help out these dudes. If I remember correctly. Also, I'm an idiot. Um... I wonder if my base is going to come under attack while I'm doing that. What you on? Here. This is Jimmy. Okay, you two go follow the tanks, because you know that's the most efficient formation. Um, so I'm leaving my base wide open to attack. Where did I... This is group one. Does my map not focus when I hit the two key? That's weird. Alright. Um... Well, I'm impatient, so we're just going to keep marching forward and losing guys. Naturally. You got it. Let's burn. You know, they should just make a version of this map and they remove all the uh, enemy characters. Let's burn. Oh, that's not a turret for me to target. Shit, shit, shit. Do you guys target any less efficiently? You know, I'll let you auto-target and just die. So, a uh, valiant attempt. Um, I am thoroughly embarrassed by the way this took place. We're gonna send all our guys up all at once this time. I don't know why they trust me to be the commander. I don't get it. Um, alright, so you guys go mine stuff. Group 1, and then shift to add a tank, that's group 1. Group 1, we're going to move on up here. Everybody else, you're group 2. With this awesome macro skill, um, how can I possibly go wrong? I'm sorry, all this awesome micro skill. Um, yeah. Now, can I build awesome stuff to... oh. I want to build stuff. Let's build an engineering bay, because you know we're going to do some engineering eventually. Um, so let's just build it here. Why not? Let me go build this thing. Order, sir. Proceeding. I do like that there are mineral patches near your starting point. Yeah, auto targeting's not too bad. Apparently, I did something which triggered these dudes. Wait, what? How's he under attack? What the fuck? Rock and roll. Rock and roll. 
Who's shooting him? I understand that it's a prone target, but the stasis field means it can't be hit. I, if I understand right. Oh, it's a ghost. I'm an idiot. I saw the ghost earlier. Alright. Cool. Um. Job's finished, eh? Alright. Ah. Well, we've got special needs here. We need to uh, construct a refinery so we can do research. I'm going to go build a couple of these dudes just so I mine stuff faster, including gas. Um, wait, you, you guys are part of the unit, too. You're now a more agile unit that are able to, I don't know, do something more efficiently somehow. This is Jimmy, yes sir. Um... Okay. Not a single target anywhere along this path. Here, you guys just follow this tank here. Which is totally not going to get destroyed somehow. I'm amazed, though. Oh, shit. Wait, can I not aim at this? This is possibly not the most efficient means of attacking. Padoo! Padoo! Well, many great forces were lost that day due to me being really stubborn and having no micro. Whatever. Here, go ahead. <sighs> we're gonna. Uh, one more time. Well, Commander, looks like we're on our own. Yeah, we're totally on our own. Seems like yesterday. I've not hacked the time stream at all. Um. Alright. How about, before I attack, I increase my marine attack range, increase their weapons, etc., etc., and then go for it and do the attack. I think I've had enough fun throwing my guys forward for now. But, um, yeah, we're actually going to try to, like, not lose all the guys this time. I could micro better, but also I don't see the point in doing so. Um. So you guys step on up here. Oh, I don't even have siege mode. I don't have siege mode. I have to research it at a machine shop. Jeez. Um. Whoops. Wait, did I already queue up a guy? I've got the one guy who built the refinery. I've got three guys out here. I don't. I didn't use any SCVs to build anything. Um. Yeah, well, okay. Regardless. Um, I could build a barracks, I could build a refinery, a supply depot, etc. We'll start with an engineering bay. Um, I'd put it here so it not, does not get in the way of the mineral patch, but it doesn't quite fit there. Um, yeah, 
Uh, I don't know if it matters where I put this. That seems efficient. Alright. Cool. Um, yeah, let's get one more SCV. 50 minerals isn't going to cost me. Um, one supply is not going to cost me. What will cost me is when it takes forever to mine all this stuff. And to uh, collect the gas. I think six, maybe eight's a good number for the space. I don't know. Yeah, what the heck. Two more won't hurt. We'll set the rally point up here, just so I can see them after they've been constructed. Why don't I move my mic a touch? Since I'm not so hot on my keyboard, I can actually rest the mic on the keyboard. Hopefully um, this helps me um, be picked up a little bit more clearly. Oh, orders, Captain. Yeah. Go do something. That's an order. Um, you can build a missile turret. An academy requires a barracks. Now, what was it that I needed to be able to get this? I need a machine shop. Which is an advanced building, which... Oh, I'm sorry. If machine shop is built off of a thing off of one of these structures. Um, so all those require barracks, barracks, factory, starport, etc. So if I want to get anywhere, I do need to build a barracks at some point. Um, which is probably a good thing for me to build, you know, because I'm going to be losing units anyway. Uh, let's put the barracks up right above the base there. I mean, the buildings can float and move about. Um, um, so to get the commsat station, I need an academy. Can I start research yet? Weapons are a good thing to have. Certainly can't object to having weapons. Um, Alright. So... This is going to be group one. This is going to be group two. Um, and I guess the tanks are going to be group three. So if I say one here, two there, three just to stay put, uh, that'll be good. Um, Alright. <sighs> is that everybody? No unit left behind. All right, good. I forget. Does the engineering bay expand, and if so... No, it doesn't. Of course not. No. This, is, this building doesn't expand either. Um... As in, I can't attach an expansion to it. Alright, so we've built... Oh, this dude specifically built it. So he could also build an academy. Um, I forget what some of these are for. Factories for upgrading machines and such. Starport Armory requires a factory. But again, oh, wait. Um, that's the one with the machine shop. Not that that's going to drive my decision, but, um, yeah, let's build an academy. If I remember right, you can do cool stuff with an academy not limited to science vessels, but science vessels are pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. That would make a good follower notification, wouldn't it? Nobody would remember what game that was from. Even though everybody's played this game. 
Alright, so... Just keep doing your thing, guys. We're just gonna do all the research in the world, and then go on and conquest this world. Or conquer it, rather. I'm trying to remember. I took some of these StarCraft noises and made them my Windows desktop noises. I'm trying to remember this one in particular, if I ever used that. I should make that like a, the you have an upcoming meeting notification noise. Make this the you got a new email noise. Can you imagine that? What's this noise? Oh, it's the same just generic building noise. All right. Um. Yeah. Let's expand their attack range. All right. I think I'm acquiring gas at a pretty decent rate here. Certainly acquiring it faster than I'm burning it. Um, so he's going to go back and mine some minerals. Meanwhile, we're going to expand the attack range of all our marines, because, you know, that's something that's going to help quite a bit. Uh, so don't lose all the marines. That was my rationale. So, do I... Uh, so I could upgrade level 1 defense or level 2 attack. I think I want level 1 defense so my guys don't die so badly. Cancel upgrade! No, just kidding. I could cancel it, even now. That would be such a... well, no need to get political about it, but it would be a, a douche move to do. Upgrade complete. Oh, we need a science facility to do the other research anyway. Alright, we'll do this one. Um, a science facility? Is that even something I can build on this map? Well, apparently, if I've built a starport, I can build a science facility. But am I really going to do that? Probably not. Um, so the question is, do I want to go tech-heavy or not? Or do I just want to go numbers-heavy and just take it by storm? Because um, if I remember right, the... The factory just lets me build stuff, um, like vultures and spider mines and stuff like that. And I'd have to build a starport, and then I'd have to build... Well, I wouldn't have to build a science facility, but... Um, oh! I'm sorry, if I had an armory, I could research siege mode. At the machine shop. Uh, where'd my guy go? I had a guy who just built a thing. And I forgot where he was. I was considering sending him to go build something else. It's probably this guy, right? The guy who's not doing anything? Um, so the question is, do I get siege mode? Um, I mean, I've got tanks, so... Factory's not too expensive. This the cost of this is that I can't build more. Um, I can't recruit more guys from my barracks, wherever that is. It's an opportunity cost of uh, four marines. Um, that instead I'm putting into constructing this factory. And once the factory's constructed, I can do the research and get, like, siege mode and vultures and stuff. Or at least I could learn more about the tech tree in this game. It's been such a long time since I last played this that I don't remember the tech tree details, so... It's possible that I might not be able to attach the machine shop to the factory like I remember. But I'd like to think that I remember that correctly. But maybe I don't. We're going to find out pretty soon here, as soon as this hits uh, 1250. Do, 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 do. Yeah, 
And if this doesn't work out, maybe I do invest in the armory and, like, at least plate my vehicles so they don't suffer um, tremendous damage. I'm going to learn by the end of this mission what a factory does. You know, they could have made this mission without any mineral patch and without any uh, Vespine geyser there. Which I think would have been evil, but they could have done it. Yeah, right. So I did remember correctly. Um, you can build a machine shop. Um, yeah, let me stick this like right next to the other building so I don't forget about it. I could have built it up there to begin with, but... Um, Alright. Stim... Yeah, I'm not... Oh! I'm guessing that's on a timer. Apparently this is what happens when you slack off. Alright, so that ghost spooked me. Um... Wow. Uh... Let's see. Upgrade complete. Oh, there we go. Alright. We'll research Siege Tech. Which lets me hit targets from a greater distance, is the point. I don't need that immediately, but eventually that might be useful. I'm not doing Stim... Uh, whatever. Okay, so... Set the rally point up here. Well, at least I wasn't attacked while I was on the lower part of the slip, but um, yeah, it would have been nice if the tanks could have joined us, although they can't really hit ground units so efficiently. At least they could have contributed. Um, uh, why don't I build a missile turret, just in case? Well, I don't know. I mean, where would I build it, really? I guess I'd go as far as far forward as possible with this. Um, just keep marching, dude. Research complete. All right. Um, is there a lip somewhere up here? No, it's a big open space. So, yeah, if I'm going to build a turret somewhere in the middle of the map, we'll stick it, like, right here. Uh, and we'll set our rally point to be this structure. Alright, so you two hang out with Raynor. Yeah, I thought so. Wait, no, Rainer's not part of either group. Uh, okay, you guys... whatever. We'll recongregate here somehow. Uh, I lost a fire bat, so I should get at least Supply Just kidding. Yes, sir. Um. Yeah, I guess we'll build one more supply depot. How much do they cost again? A hundred apiece. I can afford one. already done my upgrade there. Let's 
see. Faster ion thrusters for vulture movement and vulture ability. But ability number three was siege mode, which I do use. Um, these other things cost a hundred apiece. Um, I just build a. Oh, right, that takes two supply apiece. I forget how many supply a depot provides. Supplies provided. Does that say eight? That looks like an eight. So, theoretically, this should bump me up to 42 then. Alright, actually. Do I want to build anything else? I could build a starport. Armory's pretty cheap. I'm gonna build an armory. Um, that way our tanks don't get ripped to shreds. Oh, and then once we're done building the armory... Um, then we can heal up this dude. Yeah. No, that's it. You know, if you could just follow directions, that'd be great. Um, Alright, so I've hit one twice. Okay, yeah, hitting any key twice centers the group. I thought so. Um, okay, we're gonna re-add Rainer to this group. Yeah, our other Vulture needs to get added back to group two. Oh, this... Oh. Right here. Shit. Base is under attack. Where do these dudes come from? Ay, ay, ay. I'm annoyed. Wow. Okay. Sorry for repeatedly restarting the mission. I'd like to be able to anticipate what's happening before it happens. And the fact that I, like, get my base under attack is just very highly distracting to me. Well, Commander. Looks like we're all right. So, yeah, I didn't know that they would attack me on a timer. This is different than the other missions in that respect. All right. Two. Group one, just get on the lip here. Build some more stuff. Go. Mm, build an engineering bay somewhere. Doesn't really matter where. I don't know. I could build it on the ramp so I don't get invaded so easily. I don't know. Would it be nice to be able to see the clock, the in-game clock that's used to determine when they attack me? Well, uh, that would somewhat feel like cheating now, wouldn't it? Uh, let's see. Also, if you could see that, they just have to code around it to attack you at random-ish times. Uh, okay, just keep mining. Building all the stuff. Is this built yet? Job yes, sir. Uh, you're gonna build a. Oh, we need a barracks. These things are invincible, basically. I got flanked from this side. Oh. 
That's a completely open channel there. Okay. Alright, job's done, he said, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Where's the thing that just got built? It's not this thing. There should be one of these dudes somewhere in the vicinity of that. If that's... Oh, I'm sorry, he just built the refinery. That's what I just built this time. Right. Oh, I could build bunkers! If I just built some bunkers here, I could turtle pretty nicely. Why don't I do that? Yeah, we'll just build this massive strike force behind some bunkers instead of in front of it. That would make so much more sense. Then my guys could attack without dying. Yeah, bunkers do cost a hundred apiece, but uh, two bunkers in exchange for several units' lives is probably a decent trade. Unfortunately, bunkers cannot move. Can you imagine how much easier this game would be if bunkers could actually move? Alright. Just build one somewhere over here. Is there a well-protected... No, there's not, but... Bunkers don't need to be concealed. Checked up and good to go. Uh, shift and click to deselect unit. All right. Rock and roll. Okay, and then the thing that just got built... That's not it. I thought I just finished building a thing. Did I not just finish building a thing? Oh, goodness, guys. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, damn. What the heck was that? I've never seen that before. Alright. Fine. You can do with a little bit of adversity. Um, so I built the barracks so that I could upgrade to an academy. You want a piece of me, boy? <laughs> I'm like, wait, that's not the noise an SCV makes upon construction. SCV, good to go, sir. That's the SCV noise. Okay. I'm like, wait, it doesn't. Two and two did not add up to make four there. Oh. Never mind, the, it's already in perfect shape. Alright, upgrade complete. Um, Alright, there's nothing to expand here. Let's give infantry armor. Um, so, yeah. Okay, you guys just hang around the bunker. You guys hang around there. Um, I do want to build one detector unit. Missile turrets are 75 apiece. Uh, where do I put this? I guess somewhere near the bunker. It doesn't feel like the right place to put it, but I don't know. It's good to be able to put something on the front line, though. I think. 
It means it's going to take longer for me to finish the mission, because I've put down a detector there instead of forward of there. But we'll make it work somehow. Um, and tanks aren't especially useful just yet, but we'll find a way to make them useful. Wait, I've not yet built the academy. Let's go build it. I'm sorry, that's a factory. Academy allows me to expand uh, the visibility of my... Uh, these dudes. Yes, these guys are just enjoying some marshmallows by the fire. What do you want? Um, nice little campground there. All right. Actually, I don't even need that much in the way of mineral or gas just yet. A little gas is going a very long way here. Um, I do have enough supply to support that, don't I? No, I'm on 34 of 34. Just kidding, I don't have any supply. But I can remedy that once this is built. Once we're up to 600 here, I'll send this guy over to build a supply depot. Wait, did this finish yet? I'm sorry, did this finish yet? No. Alright, so... I want to start my research and then send my guy to go build a supply depot. Alright. So, you're gonna build supply depot number four. One of these is Lyria, Supply Depot. So, I think the reason... So many years ago when this game came out, the reason I struggled beating it is because I just didn't have the patience to go build stuff before I attacked. I eventually turned on the cheat code. Everybody knows it. Um, uh, and it's not there is no cow level. Just so you know. Everybody knows that, too. Um, oh. Right, so I can actually build this commsat station and see what the heck is going on. Let's do that. Oh, commsat stands for combat satellite. Why didn't I figure that out until just now? That's one thing that took me much longer to figure out than should have. What do you want? I want a victory, sir. Are you going to deliver that victory or not? Wait, did we build this? Alright, we're going to build one more detector. This one a little bit farther forward. Add-on complete. Oh, this thing. So, um, yeah, let's take a look forward and see there's the battle cruiser. I can target it. Or I can select it, rather. Um, yeah, from time to time we could use this to do sweeps. To see what's out there. Obviously, uh, the missile turret is only going to do so much damage against um, the battle cruiser. But yeah, having these detectors around should help with some ghosts that get thrown at me, too. Um, so, question. Do I want to build a factory? Um, yeah, I do want an armory for my armored units. So to get the armory, I have to first build the factory. So we'll do that. Um, 
Yeah, those upgrades are very nice to have. Um, there we go. A successful engagement. As it should be. Base is under attack. Wait, what? Oh, we're under attack. Oh, good to know. Of course I'm joking, but... Um, Yep, yep, yep. Nothing here. Nothing to see. Yeah, time to time I'll be expanding my vision a bit with the combat satellite view. I can even use that to detect ghosts and such if somehow I move out of the range of my detector. Um, but yeah, our ultimate target's the ion cannon. This thing. Uh, I don't even think a ghost by itself... I'm sorry, you get stasis field in it if you go up there with just your ghost. Um, Alright, so we're going to build the machine shop add-on. And... I have enough for an armory. Um... Yeah, okay, we'll start focusing on... Well, no. No need to make these paths harder to move through just yet. Mobility is kind of important at the present. Um, I wish this thing would charge faster so I could just sweep the whole map. Complete. Wait, what did I just add? Oh, this thing. Machine shop. Uh, yeah, we actually don't need siege tech immediately. Though it's a useful thing to have. I don't know. Actually, yeah, never scratch that. We do really want this. Um. Alright, so we're gonna send one more guy to go do that. Our armory is gonna be under construction. Hopefully, we'll have enough gas to be able to do research to upgrade the plating of our vehicles. Including our vultures, I believe. Uh, or maybe this only applies to ships. Maybe it's the... Um, faster vulture movement. Hmm... Yeah, okay, I actually do want that. Um... So my vultures can zip around the map and then come back and uh, I can do some maintenance if I have to, but it gives me a quicker way to explore the map and run away if they start attacking. Which could be useful since, um, let's see. Upgrade ship weapons, upgrade vehicle weapons. Now, if I remember right... Vehicles include vultures. Um, wait, where was that facility? The thing I just built? That the armory. Up, the armory upgrades your plating and your weapons. I think you get the greatest bang for your buck if you go for weapons first and then for plating. I don't know if that matters. Yeah, let's take plating and then take weapons. Yes, sir. Master Sergeant. Masters, why don't they also, like, upgrade the ranks as your guys are successful? Um, oh, I did build the supply depot. Um, yeah, go back to work here. Upgrade complete. Wait, which upgrade did I just complete here? Is that my... no. It's not that. I could lift off and fly my buildings around to explore stuff. Oh, it was this one. Uh, siege tank 
Reaper Siege Tech increases the range of the tanks, which I think is useful as I'm going up the map, actually. Um, so I guess I should start on that. As great as spider mines are, I don't think there are enough guys on the map, if I remember right. I don't think the, the mines are a worthwhile investment, but um, Siege Tech looks important. Um, let's see. Academy Science Facility with an attached covert ops. Oh right, ghosts are the other way you can work your way up the map. If you're more subtle about it, more patient. We're not taking that attack this time, unfortunately. Um, oh, another mineral patch up there. An empty patch of land. Okay. This is under attack. Where's an SCV? SCV, I need you to hold the bunker. Oh! Uh, SCV, I still need you to hold stuff together. Alright, so we lost about four guys over here. Um, had some other casualties. It is comforting to know that there are mineral patches beyond the base that I'm currently at. Uh, where's the thing that can construct... I lost a vulture. Thankfully it wasn't raining. Because that would have been a mission ender right there. Did I not build a machine shop? Oh, I'm sorry, here it is, the factory. Here. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Order received. So, start sweeping our way across the center here to get some idea of what's floating out here. Right, um, thankfully, our opposition doesn't seem interested in these resources. Oh. Okay, that answers some questions. Jeez. All right. Um. Yeah, we're in for the long haul. I forgot that was there. This mission. Jeez. Okay. No wonder we've been hit from the left so many times. Um. Dang. Okay. Hey, LC. We're just finally beating StarCraft 1, at least the Terran campaign. I don't know that I'm going to have the patience to go through the other campaigns, but... Something complete. Um, oh yeah, sure, let's upgrade some other stuff. Early 2000s. Heh. <laughs> uh, uh, no? <laughs> uh, oh boy. No, uh, uh, that's a good question. I just never thought about it that way. Um. Yes, this is from the 90s. This is before... This is when people had, like, modem internet. Um. So the game was initially released without um, the full complement of what it takes to play uh, online games these days. Or rather, it, you had to download a patch to be able to play peer-to-peer -peer on the same network or something like that. Yeah.
So, I just discovered, and I don't know how I could have forgotten about this, that there's this base to the left. And they are actually mining minerals. So, yeah, this the game's not going to just throw the game to me. It expects me to try to win it. Which is kind of unfortunate news for me, isn't it? Um, that in order to win this campaign, I either have to atrophy their or deplete their entire supply, so they stop mining, or go in and attack that hornet's nest and hope something positive comes of it, or try to hit the ion cannon and not trigger all these dudes. We could take a look and see if that seems feasible. I don't think it will be, but, um, yeah, they got everything. Oh, jeez. Okay. Thankfully, they've been hitting me in very small waves. Oh! Oops. Um... get this. Oh, right, right. Oops. Well, you're not the first, I suppose. Um, I'm sure many other people got similar letters. They were very sternly worded. It said, please stop doing that. Something like that. Um, Alright, so I've been upgrading... Let's see, what else is there to upgrade? I mean, they've got the full complement of everything upgraded, so I should try to upgrade my stuff too. Not just Siege Tech, though Siege Tech will be useful. Although, I don't know how that's going to work with um, the rest of my um, battalion. Or whatever you want to call it. Um, have I upgraded everything else though? Where'd my armory go? Oh, here it is. And yeah, my armory's busy. Um, so I should actually take care to upgrade other stuff. To get a science facility, I have to have a starport. Um, I don't think I'm going the whole science facility, starport, etc. route here. I could do that. It's, that would be highly expensive, and I don't have very many minerals down here. Wait, that's 5,000. This down here is like 500, but... I don't really have enough to supply a full-scale fleet invasion. A ground-based invasion will have to do. Um, so... I could build Goliaths. Wait, wait, wait. Armory upgrade completed. I'm not building ships. I'm going to go with vehicles. But to get vehicle weapons level 2, I have to have the science facility, which... Re I, I, I. Everything requires me to have that science facility if I want to go hit level 2. So I guess I'm building a starport, and although I have no intention to build ships. I'm on the PlayStation. Wow. That's that's some technology right there. That's making use of resources. I'm not sure what else to say, but yeah, that not too many people did these things. Yeah, I think I'm going to build a couple more vultures. Uh, set the rally point out here. Um, let's see, is this guy done building yet? 
Okay, and then at long last we're gonna build the science facility. Top it all off. <gasps> Alright. We've got some scan energy. Let's see just how screwed I am. Alright, space, good. Guys that have not triggered yet. Good to know. Um, anything else that I want to know? I mean, I know this is big empty space because I've looked at that section of the map before. How about this section? Ah! Alright, alright. Yeah! So I'm routinely going to get under attack by all these dudes. Uh, the tank could help me take out things from afar. Things that can't... Well, buildings can move in this game, can't they? There's no one obvious strategy other than do good macro, do good micro. And this map will force me to do all that. I remember trying to beat this game just, like, using the invincibility cheat. And then walked a ghost all the way up to the upper left corner of the map. And I was so ready, so excited to try to, like, instantly win the game. And then my ghost got put in, like, three stasis fields at once. Um, I couldn't figure out, like, what was going on. For, at least initially. Uh, control tower. Uh, oh. So if I want some of these special things, I have to build a control tower. I'm not interested in that. I am interested in level 2 weapons, level 2 armor. Um, that's what I was hunting for there. Alright. Oh, also siege tanks will be fun. Insufficient gas. Ooh. That's unfortunate. Just after I took a guy away from... Uh, harvesting gas. You go harvest some gas. Alright, so I'm sitting on an abundance of resources because I'm being dumb. Or indecisive, rather. I'm wanting to upgrade everything and then start doing stuff, which is not the efficient way to go about it. Oh, what was the physics lab for? Um. I don't remember. Um. Regardless, since I'm this far, I should build a covert ops. If I remember right, the physics labs for additional science vessel stuff. Which I'm not particularly interested in. Um, although I think it's also for, um, ghosts and weapons. In fact, that's definitely what it's for. Um, wait, where'd my guy who just built the thing go? Did I just let him go? Alright. Add-on complete. Nice. Oh wait, no, I have locked down here. But to actually build the weapons and stuff is something different. Um, right, so we get personnel cloaking. Where'd my guy go? Did I send him back to go mining again? I guess so. I guess I don't have a guy who's doing nothing. If I did, uh, he successfully evaded my detection, but I th think I put him back to harvesting resources. Um, so those guys are periodically going to attack from the northeast. Um, oh, have I hit my max supply yet? You're 
I'm expecting more attacks in the future. And this is kind of a choke point, so... Um, where to put this? That looks fine. No, no, no. Um, yeah, we're going to build the turret down here. Because I think they can actually get up on this lip and start shooting my turret, which can't shoot back because it doesn't hit ground units. All right, research is complete. Research continues as my indecision forever continues. Um, oh, right, right, right. So we have other technologies. First of all, these things are useful if I have ghosts. So we'll have one ghost, at least. Um, uh, so rally point for my ghost. I don't know. Set the rally point here, somewhere obvious. Um, where do we have 87 gas, 95 gas. We have just enough gas to start research again, right? Oh, we could get level three weapons. Somebody go for an exterminator. Oh, right, right, right. Hard seventy-five. Wait, ghosts are dudes? I didn't know that. They don't have many hit points. Upgrade complete. Oh, ghost and a tank are kind of interesting combo, aren't they? Upgrade complete. What upgrade would that be? Is that this one? Level 2 armor? Yeah, let's get level 2 armor. For duty. Um. Come on. Level 2 armor, go. Here we go. They can't even start the project until they have all the resources. <laughs> that seems... well, okay. Just based on my own Western perspective, failing to start a project due to being in a unable to finish it is kind of a strange thing. Uh, so... Yeah, I don't have a missile silo. Um, ocular implants are awesome. I don't know if I need that, though, if I just have one ghost. But I think it's a really awesome thing to have, too. It might save my butt to have that. I don't know. We'll find out. If my one ghost perishes, I can always construct another ghost. Um. Alright, so our armory is idle. Our starport, of course, is idle because I'm not building ships because I can't afford to upgrade everything. So I'm going to stay away from using ships, even though that will put me at a disadvantage against ground units. Um, I'll just use sheer force to overcome that disadvantage. Um, wait, I've got 120 some gas there. And just keep harvesting that gas as quickly as possible. We'll have enough gas soon. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa.
Shit. Okay, you know, I think I could be content with that. Because um, the alternative is that I get really, I don't know, dissatisfied with that outcome? I think I could be content with losing in that manner. Um, yeah, show me some more information here. Whoa, okay. Um... So I was outnumbered in structures, resources, and units. Um, let's see. I was outproduced. Um, hmm. <laughs> Outconstructed. Okay. Jeez. Okay, I see what this mission is like now. Yeah, having that kind of visibility to what's going on. I didn't remember that there were two Sons of Korhal squads out there. Holy moly. Wow. That could explain a lot. So that set of units that I found on the west side of the map that's just one of my opponents okay um yeah I'm not nearly ready for this mission this requires me to have far more APM and far more skill than I'm currently exhibiting I can't just use the strategy I applied on every other map I could cheat to beat this but that's no fun um yeah hmm Okay. Wait, how... resources? I didn't look at this yet. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I've been out collected here. Even though red wasn't spending any resources, um, silver there was doing an excellent job. Wow. Okay. Um... Yeah, no, 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 that, that's totally fine. Um, we're going back to the menu. So, we failed to achieve victory. And from the looks of it, not just did we fail, we failed in, like, after several restarts, um, I still was completely outclassed. It wasn't even a contest. Hmm. I think it's probably time that I move on to a different game here. Um, and come back to this later, because this looks very challenging. Alright, so thanks for watching StarCraft. Uh, I'll get my next game set up here shortly. I guess I'll cut the video there. That was weird. Wow.